Welcome back to Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. We're going to the fourth mission of Light and Civil War, continuing our memorial to the campaign's creator, Top Ace. Arthur Kimmler. Hello, pilots. I'm Arthur Kimmler, Special Operations Command. Admiral Hanley has asked me to hold this briefing for you. I've infiltrated the higher circles of the Lytanian Primary Defense Force, getting almost as far as the immediate advisory board to the Chancellor. After six months on the ground, I'm happy to be back in friendly territory. Thanks to the daring rescue attempt that some of your fellows carried out. Territory, thanks to the daring rescue attempt that some of your fellows carried out. I hope the information I brought you will be valuable in defeating the Lieutenant Splinter. Yeah, I was the only survivor of that of that uh, sortie. So, the Splinter. The Leighton Coalition is not as harmonious as it seems. After the Alliance-friendly government was voted out, a lot of formerly powerful people were expelled, some possibly executed. Fortunately, the new leadership has already developed some problems. Chancellor Keyes remains the political drive behind the revolutionary forces, but Admiral Lanson is the de facto ruler of Leighton, mostly due to the military force that he has under his command. Fearing a hypothetical coup, the Chancellor Advisory Board is doing their best to keep the Admiral out of the political picture as much as possible. Minister of Public Relations Navaretti remains the Chancellor's closest associate. He is currently busy spinning a vision of a separatist utopia to Leighton 3 and 4, the cultural and industrial centers of the system, respectively. I will talk about him a bit more later. Since coming into power, Chancellor Key's greatest concern has been, has been managing a detailed economic plan to kickstart Leighton 4's decaying industrial base. He is currently visiting a, a Bretonia class installation in Leighton 4's orbit to meet with dignitaries and experts from the planet. He is guarded by a considerable military force, so a direct attack won't be feasible at this time, especially now that Admiral Lanson has gotten a whiff of what I've been up to. As for what can be done now, a trusted source has informed me of the existence of an out-of-the-way supply depot. This depot is scarcely mentioned in official records, suggesting that few have the security clearance to know about it. Most of the clues suggest that it is directly related to the Coalition's secret shipbuilding efforts. We speculate that the, that the Lloyds have developed a new technology, and in order to minimize the risk of it leaking out, they're hiding it from their own as well. You've already seen the new Ezekiel fighters, but this system has the shipbuilding know-how and equipment to build and operate a lot more than those little birds. I've got some of my best people following up on this lead, and I expect to report soon. Whatever the depot's purpose, it was extremely difficult to acquire any information on it. Admiral Hanley has authorized a deep cover operation to be carried out to determine, and eventually acquire, the contents of the containers. I have advised GTVA High Command to capture Chancellor Keyes to decapitate the Lieutenant leadership, but it looks like my suggestion fell on deaf ears. Command is determined to track down Admiral Lanson and bring him to justice to end the armed conflict. Personally, I'm more worried about Minister of Public Relations than Navaretti. The worst part of this situation is the number of people who really believe in the Coalition's tripe. Without Navaretti, Chancellor Keyes would gradually lose the support of his people, and Admiral Lanson would just be a brute at the mercy of the Alliance's superior firepower. Thank you for your attention. Alpha One, you're with me. Oh boy, a special operations loop. Espionage. Listen up, Alpha One. The cargo depot we're capturing today is no ordinary deep space supply post. I have confirmation from multiple reliable sources that the Lutinians store powerful capital ship generators in some, if not all, of the containers. These generators are possibly next gen developed for use on board the Lutinian command ship for faster beam cannon recharge. Well, that won't do it all. The Lutinians would rather destroy the cargo than see it fall, into, fall to our hands. So the sentry guns that encircle the depot will signal when hostile ships are detected. According to unconfirmed rumors, the containers may be equipped with a self-destruct mechanism as well. If we want to get our hands on the loot generators, we'll have to exercise subtlety. We'll be use, like, utilizing our Pegasus stealth fighters and the Morningstar tactical weapon in this mission. I feel like we did this in the last campaign. Our engineers claim that the warning systems on Alistair sentry guns are very basic and their effective sensor range is estimated to be around 200 to 400 meters for target confirmation. If you can push all sentry guns away from the cargo depot with your morning stars, a group of freighters could sneak in and steal the containers undetected. If there are self-destruct systems on the containers, we should be able to deactivate them before the hostiles realize their cargo is missing. While you will be safe from a positive identification outside the sentry scanning range, the Alistairs will still fire at anything they see moving. It doesn't matter if the sentries fire at you once in a while, however, as the lights would assume that they're firing at space debris. Only a continuous barrage of lasers is likely to attract attention. <coughs> so I need to stay out of their way. Fortunately, the Morningstar is a long-range thing. 
Since we are unsure about the sensor range of the sentry guns, Admiral Hanley has authorized the use of the Pegasus Stealth Fighter to minimize the risk of detection. Your morning stars will be modified to inflict zero damage to the sentry guns or the containers. However, they will be usable against any other target. Huh. To help you better orient yourself, a navigation buoy sensor will be placed in the middle of the cargo depot. Your primary goal is to push all sentry guns at least one kilometer away from the aforementioned nav buoy. Once you're done, the Admiral will deploy five Poseidon-class freighters to haul the cargo away. At this stage, all we can do is, ho is, ki uh, is keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. I'll be in the area as well, but I'll be busy monitoring hostile movements. If I say trouble's approaching, be prepared to abort. Primary objective is push all sentries out of the way and capture all cargo. That we were finding out first. We're doing this in one stage, apparently. So I have a Morning Star and two banks of Tempests. We'll stick with that. Let's commit. Let's see what we're dealing with. They all just look like stock units from here. Remember, the cargo may self-destruct if you get too close to the guns, so push them out of the way. Alright. Let's see if we can't line up that Alistair and get him out of here. My information is correct in all regards. There's six systems and five containers, the level of the numbers are accurate. Why is the soundtrack uh, O Come O Come Emmanuel? Huh. Over 300 or 400 meters, fly above the buoy for best point of comparison. So now that was the closest, we'll move them out in stages. There we go. It's detail work getting a little far out. Something's approaching. Oh great, this will throw a spanner in it. Continue with your mission, Alpha-1. I'll risk sending him a transmission to command. Expect an update soon. If you need to recharge your primary or shield reserves. Well, if I need to recharge my shield, we failed the mission because it means I've been shot at by these things. <laughs>
Yeah, we definitely did this to achieve in Depot in uh, Journey to Epsilon Pegasi last week. So, I guess he likes this mechanic. Closest ones are out of effective weapons range, so I can move in. here support a wing of bombers in the GTC Hussar to assault a nearby Lutinian staging point. Hopefully the cruiser will be scrambled to assist. Until then, approach the containers with caution and scan them. I want to see what they're hiding. It's not showing cargo. There are no generators in the containers, just standard supplies. Oh, you're way on out there, Major. Three orders. Oh, shit! Alpha 1, Watcher 6, we've been exposed. They must have known we were coming. Return to the Washington. Oh, boy. Bye bye And he just jumps out. Of course he does. Base evade Capricorn. Is that far enough? Right. So space drive is malfunctioning. Engine failure cannot engage warp drive. Oh god. I guess uh I guess somebody's gonna have to come pick me up. Uh command. That I pick up. This is Captain Patrick Vogel's UTC to your attribution. Alpha One, keep a distance, we'll sanitize this area. Oh, he must have lost contact with me. That's a Dynos. Let's do something with a hanger. The SOC never ceases to amaze me. You sure know how to get into trouble. The sentry guns powered back up. if I can't bail out the retribution. I really don't want to engage that. Oh. 
Gretchen is winning handily. It didn't look like it was winning the engagement that hard at first. At ease, pilot. The Washington is deploying a support ship to get the drivers back online. I'm just gonna stay over here next to your uh, anti fighter weaponry if that's okay, sir. And on the cover of Delta Wing. And etc. Wait for a support ship. Let support dock. There it is. You're coming with me. I can't give orders to Delta. Oh, he just picks me up and carries me out. Alright. It's good to see you alive, Commander. I'm as shocked as you are. The, the, the depot held nothing of value and we sprang their trap. Though the bayonet was destroyed, Admiral Hanley will have to pull the retribution off the line. With our repair resources tied up on the bulwark, there's no telling how long she'll be out of commission. My informants were proven correct about the exact position and layout of the target, but it seems likely that the entire story was fabricated to draw us out. The generators may have never even been there. I should have aboard the mission when the bayonet arrived, but unexpected things happened and I knew we weren't going to get another sh shot at it. The failure of your subspace drive and the arrival of Capricorn Wing just when we were about to abort is the most troubling turn of all. Compromised intelligence is one thing, but there's a real possibility here that we have one or more saboteurs on board. The Chief of Security and I will be launching a full investigation from the deckhands on up, so be prepared for an endless list of questions. You shouldn't have anything to be worried about, though. The operation was conceived on my information, so I'll be taking the heat for this one. I'll visit you in your quarters when we know more. At least both of us made it through. Hmm. I wonder. Alright, no kills. So our all-time total remains at 39 with 3 assists. So this was Espionage, the fourth mission of Latent Civil War for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming as we continue our memorial to the campaign's creator, Top Ace. This is Paladin Gaming signing off.